Now, um, Sheriff Dennis, people are always asking me about this issue of racial profiling. The minorities in the community, they feel that, um, and around the country, they feel that law enforcement engages in racial profiling, meaning that they pull over minority people and subject them to more scrutiny. Uh, tell us what you think about that issue and what is the Sheriff's Office doing to make sure that all the citizens of Sumter County are treated fairly? Again, I've had training on racial profiling and to be one that denies that there is racial profiling in this country and maybe here in this So you're not county, denying that? I'm not denying that. Okay. But we, I do have uh, in place certain uh, software, certain uh, to identify my officers that there is some type of accusation of racial profiling. So, so you have software where you monitor the amount of stops an officer makes and it'll tell you if it's a disproportionate number of minorities? Yes, okay. the gender, mm -hmm. to me the race, okay. and also the citation that officer may be right. So you're monitoring this? Yes. Okay. I have. All right. have you, uh, and uh, you, you provide training to your officers? Yes, we have sensitivity training. Uh -huh. Um, definitely, um, the training is from the academy, and we do in-house, uh, in-service training, in-house training as well. So you have a policy against racial profiling? Oh, I'm 100% against racial okay. profiling. Right. Driving while black or whatever terms they use, uh, I'm not supportive of that. If that has been identified, then uh, disciplinary action be taken up to termination. Okay. Well, that's, that's good to hear. Um, now, another big issue around the country is uh, marijuana enforcement. A lot of people believe that uh, marijuana enforcement is, uh, is racially based, that minorities get targeted more, um, that um, some, a lot of places around the country is marijuana, some uh, law enforcement agencies, they're not even enforcing uh, 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 crimes of possession of small amounts of marijuana. People are saying that it disproportionately affects uh, minorities. There's also the issue of medical marijuana. Tell me what your thoughts are on that, um, Sheriff. I do believe, you know, there has been uh, volume, the volume much higher of African Americans that have been arrested with um, marijuana, but there are agencies that do not prosecute, like you say, simple possession of marijuana. I do believe that marijuana is a legal drug. I think until it is removed from that being illegal, uh, some kind of sheriff office will continue to enforce it. Uh, so as long as the law, you feel like you got to enforce it. I, that's, that's what I was supposed to do. Yeah, I understand and I was that. to do. Uh -huh. And it doesn't have to do anything to do with the gender, the race. We will continue to enforce marijuana as long as it is illegal. Okay. Um, the medical marijuana, I am supportive of the medical marijuana. I may not be supportive of the arc of the uh, amendment that they're trying to pass uh -huh. with it. Uh, and I only can be supportive of it once it's passed by the Food and Drug Administration. Okay. Um, I cannot go to, I, I go to certain drug stores to get my drugs, right. <laughs> my more medication. Right. Uh, the way that uh, this amendment is being passed, you go to a head shop and get it. Okay. And that's, you're talking about the uh, amendment in South Carolina? South Carolina, the one so, that's... So it's, it's, it's something that's proposed before the state legislature right now? Yes, it has been for the last couple of years. Okay, and, but it hasn't, has it, it hasn't passed yet. And we have fought it from our association, from the South Carolina Sheriff's Association. Okay. Um, 